It means a gathering, a cluster, or simply a group. The idea for a voluntary cooperative, a new way of life where a small community works together to help itself. Originally associated with communism, the kibbutz is perhaps the most influential idea to come out of what is now Israel. The first kibbutz, Degania Aleph, was established in 1910. Ten men and two women, the workers calling it an independent settlement of Jewish workers in the national homeland. The idea to build a community dedicated to equality, including equality of the sexes, secularism and to Zionism in a non-competitive environment. The idea was a success and it quickly spread, giving birth to the entire kibbutz movement in 1927. The first kibbutzniks, or residents, mainly farm workers, not receiving any kind of wage, but also were not having to pay any kind of rent. The movement continued to grow, the kibbutzim built in strategic locations to defend the land for Jewish settlers as conflicts grew with the Palestinian people. The movement, seen as one of the vital building blocks of the creation of the State of Israel, than 70,000 people living on over 200 kibbutzim. So what has changed? Well, some would say everything. As Israel became more capitalist, the communities followed suit. The original principles gradually eroded. In 1985, Israel's economic crisis led to measures to combat hyperinflation, which bankrupted many kibbutzim. Nowadays, many have been privatized, morphing into holiday retreats or even eco-villages, the new way, perhaps, for them to survive. Survive, though, they do. Still around 270 in various forms, keeping the movement alive. Well, for France 24, Cecile Galusio and Yore Lieberman revisit Israel's kibbutzim for France 24. When you have a lot of money, you can be socialist. Kibbutz around itself with a fence, but the fence became a wall, and I wanted to break this wall. La nouvelle génération, à mon goût, ne s'investit pas assez. Elle, elle vit sur ses aises. Moi, j'ai l'habitude de dire qu'ils ont été nourris avec des cuillères en or, et encore la cuillère, ils la portaient pas. from the beach with well-maintained gardens, large homes and golf carts. Je m'appelle Sandrine, je suis arrivée au kibbutz Magan Michael il y a 27 ans, mère de trois enfants. Le kibbutz pour moi est quelque chose de fantastique, c'est le meilleur endroit dans, dans le monde à mon goût. It's also one of the richest. Kibbutz Ma'agan Michael has a football field, factories, a zoo and a clinic. But it remains a collective. There are only about 30 like this left. Le kibbutz est divisé en secteurs d'activité. Ici, nous arrivons au secteur d'activité du euh, de, des soins, de cosmétiques et euh, de pédicure, manicure. Ça nous permet de ne pas sortir à l'extérieur. Ce sont des prix euh, vraiment très avantageux pour les membres du kibbutz. Et vous allez avoir ça dans, dans tous les domaines. Ok. Toda, Sharon. And many services are actually free. Laundries washed, ironed and folded. Children are looked after. And the elderly have home help. Most importantly, no one pays rent on Ma'agan Michael. Nir Bracha was born on the kibbutz in the 1960s. Then children slept separately from their parents in a children's home. 
Today, the size of your family basically determines the size of your home. The youngest is done. Okay, now he's in the army. When you have two or three kids, you go to a bigger house. So, and since then, we live here. So I didn't have to pay one million or two million shekels to, to buy the house, to buy a house next to the, to the beach. The salary here is currently around 25,000 shekels. That's 6,200 euros per couple per month. It's very difficult to calculate it if it's a lot or not a lot because I don't pay uh, for the car, I don't pay for the house, I don't pay... More, more, more or less this money is for uh, food, for clothes, for restaurants, for uh, all these things. Today, Nir is General Secretary of the Kibbutz. Jobs are changed every four years, so tomorrow he could be a farmer. But his salary will remain the same. The kibbutz pools its income and redistributes it to members according to the size of their household. All singles receive the same amount, all couples with one child the same amount, and so on. But things have not always been so easy. Chaya Kna'ani is one of the pioneers. When she came in 1949, she was 23, and the land was all swamp. Today it's her grandson Eden who's 23. And thanks in part to his grandmother's work, he enjoys a very different life. In fact, the kibbutz has evolved along with the rest of the world. Its factories are now listed on the stock exchange. Its agriculture is industrialized. These fish are exported all over the world. Can get up to 1,000, 2,000 euro per one fish. Nir claims kibbutz values have remained intact, even though today the individual takes priority over the group. People want to make their own decisions, okay, more and more and more and more. So the kibbutz is, becomes more and more a capitalist, but compared to all over the world, we are very, very socialist, okay? But uh, it's very nice to be a socialist when you have money. It's very difficult when you don't, <laughs> okay? Socialist rich and more and more withdrawn. Over time, people here tend to receive more than they give. It's a necessity to assist, in fin de compte, because at the exterior, we have to battle to win our pain. Ici, le, le pain, il est sur la table. On n'a pas besoin de travailler dur pour l'avoir. Ils n'ont pas la volonté de donner non plus. Donc le kibbutz, il ne pourra pas durer. Je pense que d'ici 4-5 ans, il y aura des changements qui seront grands. The success is such that few leave this kibbutz. Numbers here are exploding. Soon Margan Michael won't be able to provide this standard of living to all its members. It's heading towards privatization. Engulfed by neoliberal economics and individualist temptations, the majority of the kibbutz movement has resigned itself to privatization. Kibbutz Deganya took that 180 degree turn 13 years ago. My name is Ganani. I was born in Deganya in 1940. In 1997, I צורת החיים הקיבוצית, הסוציאליסטי, שאנחנו מכירים כל השנים, שהאמנתי בה ואהבתי אותה מאוד, בעצם היא מגיעה לסופה. In the early 2000s, Oded ran קיבוץ דגניה. He initiated the first privatization here. It was difficult because דגניה wasn't just any קיבוץ. It was Israel's first קיבוץ, founded in 1909. This is the first uh, dining room, the first kitchen. Over there was a bakery. 
On the back of it was the first shower, part-time for women, part-time for men, for children and so on. This building has served several purposes. Today it's a museum. Daganya was founded by socialists, aiming to escape a painful life in Russia and Europe and to build a new man here. They have just one dress. And if a woman needs to go to the city and wear the dress, if the other woman wanted to go, she had to wait until the other one will come and then they change or on the way, something like this. More than a century later, remnants of past wars remain, but concrete homes have replaced wooden ones. And as the privatizations proceed, the buildings empty out. Here it was a house for elder people, ill people that can't support themselves for many, many years. A few years ago, the, atti the, the attitude had been changed because the members prefer, prefer to, um, uh, to be at home with somebody that would be with them and support them. Now Daganya is a collection of quiet old buildings trying to attract newcomers. Some young people who left are coming back because they've learnt that life's tough on the outside. So the kibbutz is not what it used to be. A rare remnant of the original spirit that still brings people together is the communal dining room. A few dozen continue to come for lunch each day, but the rules have changed. Paying for meals, earning different salaries. Degania is a long way from the success story of Kibbutz Ma'agan Michael. Capitalism is everywhere, even inside the homes. Leaving a legacy was unthinkable in the kibbutz of yesteryear, but to save it from certain death, the movement has softened. Today you can find a religious kibbutz, a green kibbutz, and even a kibbutz in town. My name is Naomi Kazayan. I've been living in Zderot for 33 years. We decided to establish a new model of collective life in Israel, a new model of social life, an urban kibbutz. In this urban kibbutz, there's no agriculture and no physical barrier. Kibbutz Migvan wants to widen the concept of community living. We wanted to come and live with other people who come from different cultural, mental, social background in the city, in capitalistic life. We don't want to be 700 people, 1,000 uh, people. We want to keep the intimacy, the ideological and the social intimacy. The community has around 100 members. Many are involved in the educational life of their town, Sterot. אנחנו משקים את הצמחים, גם את הדקלים בשלושת החביות, גם את הפס של הסוקולנטים, ראיתם, ל ליד האבנים, וגם את הצמחים החדשים ששתלנו, המסתרעים לאורך הפס של הטפטוף. Like Nomika, Amram was born in an old-fashioned kibbutz, but felt he no longer fit in. ברגע שקמה המדינה, הממשלה לקחה על עצמה את התפקידים שבעבר הקיבוץ היה לקח אותם. ואז הקיבוץ התחיל להתמקד בתוך עצמו. וכשגדלתי חשבתי שהקיבוץ מנותק ולא חלק מהחברה הישראלית.
These feelings pushed them out of their comfort zone and down south to Sterot, a poor Israeli town near the Gaza Strip. Rockets fired from Gaza have a traumatic impact on the children here. The first is breathing, the second letting go. Migvan may not be a kibbutz for very long. Only nine members are pooling their money. The others made a choice. Yes to the social bond, no to sharing resources. I said unfortunately, because I would like to keep the same economic system but the majority don't want. So I have to accept it. Traditional, privatized, urban. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. The kibbutz, still Zionist and much less socialist, is having to reinvent itself to remain relevant. But to do that, it's moving away from the old motto, from each according to their ability, to each according to their need. Cecile Galusio, Yuri Lieberman, revisiting Israel's kibbutzim for France 24. That's all from this week's edition. Don't forget, of course, you can catch it and all the previous editions as well on our website at france24.com. More news coming up very shortly. Thanks for watching.